Hallo liebe Leser und willkommen in Eugene, Oregon. Heute sind wir zu Besuch bei Sierra Dynamics, wo wir Ihnen die ersten Eindrücke von Red Baron 2 zeigen werden. Wir haben einen guten Tag erwischt. Normalerweise ist das Wetter in Oregon... Äh, ja, da schickt man keinen Hund vor die Türe. Okay, bevor sich noch mehr Hunde beschweren kommen, möchte ich mein bisheriges Statement revidieren. Was ich damit sagen wollte, ist, normalerweise schüttet es hier wie aus Eimern. I am Chris Cole and I'm the designer director of Hunter Hunter and this is the game here. So let's see, um, you play the beast, this character here, which is an eight foot tall, two horned monster, or uh, Jake, the uh, human. We've got two players. One player's on the top, one player's on the bottom. We're trying to kill each other. And we set the number at the time on that, say, three minutes, four minutes, and or three kills, whichever comes first. We have 100 levels, 65 of them are single player, and 35 are two player levels. Hunter Hunted soll in der ersten Dezemberwoche 96 erscheinen. Um, I'm Randy Thompson. I'm the director of Cyber Gladiators. It's uh, one of Sierra's first action of two action titles that we're putting out um, in our new KAA line. Mit Cyber Gladiators versucht Sierra den Vorstoß in das Genre der 3D-Prügelspiele. Im Gegensatz zur Konkurrenz sind die Kampftechniken nicht vorprogrammiert, sondern werden vom Spieler selbst kreiert. Probably our most unique feature is the ability for the computer opponents to actually teach themselves to fight, or at least to, they teach themselves to fight you specifically. They, every time you play a match against them, they, they evaluate your movement and they try and counter each of your moves and they see which, which of their moves best uh, is most effective against your fighting style. This right here is running on an unaccelerated system in 16-bit graphics mode. Because it's 16-bit color mode, that's how we're able to do these smooth lighting effects. Uh, we also support um, 3DFX-based graphics accelerators on which we're getting 60 frames a second, which is really nice. This is the main menu, the main opening screen for Red Baron 2. Red Baron 2 is the sequel to the uh, quite popular and fairly famous uh, Red Baron flight simulator that we did, goodness, um, over five years now uh, ago. The goal from the very beginning on this product was to do everything that Red Baron 1 did well and do it as well or better. The machines that were available, the computers that were available were simply not sophisticated enough to be able to display more complex graphics and um, things like this. Well, now we have that capability. The machines are much more sophisticated, much more capable, and uh, this product takes full advantage of those capabilities. The number of views that you have available to you is unlimited in a way. Um, you have views out each side of the aircraft. 
you have lockdown views in front of you, you can look behind yourself, you can look down at your lap where you have a map board that will be there. Uh, you can even look up slightly so that you have an increased visibility. You can actually have it snap to an enemy so that you can attempt to track on a specific foe. My head is tracking that target, so I fly the plane in an attempt to line them up in front of me. You see how it works. My head stays constantly looking at that particular plane. What you see here is this village with roads, with fields, with buildings. Um, all of these buildings can be interacted with. You can um, uh, shoot them, blow them up. Uh, the sun and the clouds represent your uh, method for ambushing an opponent who might be superior in number or just downright better. What you're seeing here is the fact that I'm flying into the sun. It gets very, very bright. Uh, very difficult to see. There also will be cloud objects that you'll be able to fly into and through and uh, use for cover, to escape, or for ambushes. The artificial intelligence of the game is going to take full advantage of this. You will often see uh, diving ambushes out of the sun. You'll be able to fly one of 22 different aircraft. There are actually over 40 aircraft in the game. You'll be able to go in, take a mission, modify missions and construct ones of your own so that you can create not only where the mission takes place, you'll be able to designate the aircraft that are involved, how many of them there are, um, where your position in the, in the uh, flight is. Uh, so you'll have full control over all of that within the mission editor. So uh, it, it's truly a, a full feature editor. Something that you may notice as I move around is notice how the screen turns red or black. That is, of course, red out and black out, which are effects of G-forces on the pilot. Look, they're shooting at us. I hate it when they do that. All right, who's that? Yep, that was the one I was after. Whoa! <laughs> and I snapped my wings off. You can jump out. Now, you may wonder, why would somebody jump out of their aircraft? Splat. Crash. The answer is because it's cool. Uh, we're very, very excited about Red Baron 2. We uh, think it will be the best uh, military flight simulation in many, many years. And that's why we've taken as long as we have to, uh, to, to get this product done. Uh, when it releases in uh, uh, summer of next year, I think uh, people will be very, very happy. Hello, my name is Mark Petschnik, and I'm about to show you Sierra Pro Pilot. Three cockpit units. We get rid of the in engine controls here, uh, keep the navigational controls, and a little bit more of the scenery one down. ProPilot, ein direkter Konkurrent zum Microsoft Flugsimulator, verfügt über ein interessantes Tutorial, das dem Spieler während des Flugs alles Nötige in Videosequenzen erklärt. Phantasmagoria 2 – A Puzzle of Flash bedient sich der gleichen Formel wie sein Vorgänger. Mord und Totschlag in Full Motion Video mit gelegentlicher Rätselunterbrechung auf 600 CDs soll auch im diesjährigen Weihnachtsgeschäft für Furore sorgen.
for something completely different. Wir verlassen Sie heute mit einem Blick in die schmutzige Fantasie des beliebtesten Losers der Spielegeschichte. Die Jesuleri wird in Love for Sale zum sechsten Mal alles anmachen, was nicht schnell genug auf die Bäume kommt. Herr Pfand. Thank <laughs> you.